The research I'm doing aims to produce software that is as reliable as possible so that in the future we can build even more complex software. We already see trends where software is starting to be used in autonomous cars and as a society we depend more and more on software. I'm originally from Finland, there I went to high school, and then I went to Oxford, where I did three years of, of bachelor's studies in computer science, and that's where I was, I was first introduced to the concept of, of proving things about programs. Nowadays, computers keep a lot of private information. One, one goal of our research is to, to make sure that the layers that are there in the software to keep information that we want to keep secret it stays private and it doesn't leak somewhere else. So if you on your phone have a banking app and you have some game, you don't want the game to be able to tap into your bank account. Instead of testing the software, we are developing methods by which we prove with mathematics that it always works according to its specification. What we're working on is a, a verified compiler, so a proved correct compiler. So a compiler is, uh, is a tool that takes source code that programmers write and transform it through many steps. It ends up with machine code that can be executed. So for instance, ARM machine code that will run on this thing or on your phone. In this setting of an interactive theorem prover, it makes it almost a little bit like a game. It's a text-based game that uh, you have the rules of the logic and how far can you get with those rules. So I will start it. Game begin. And here now it knows, okay, this is what we're aiming for. So this is a proof goal. It's going to break this goal into many parts. So here I have one such part and this is a particularly easy part. When building these stacks, um, it's very interesting that you can understand one layer at a time, or a few layers at a time. But understanding the whole stack at once, it, it's just a bit too incredible. It, it's too much detail to keep in one's mind. This is what it looks like. I just proved the, the simplest case of this compiler. If you then continue and do the whole proof, um, it will, it takes a little longer. If we prove something about one layer, and then we prove something about the next and the next, and we compose them, then we don't need to remember the details. We just need to understand what we have proved. And the very exciting part here is that we can build such complicated systems that it's hard to understand really why they are correct. But we have proof that say they are correct. And for a compiler, this means that the, the machine code it generates behaves in the same way as the source code that we started with. So can software be, be completely correct, 100% correct? And I suspect not, but we can get very close to that. And we can work towards getting even closer uh, to 100% correct. 